Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you checking it out. I've been meaning to make it uh, for a while now. So, um, I live in Northwest Florida, South Walton County, um, in the Panhandle, about a thousand feet from the beach. Um, temperatures usually range in the, the coldest it gets is in the mid twenties. Um, we actually had a pretty mild winter uh, last winter so i'm hoping for that again um this year i've bought some avocado trees i think i have 11 or 12 varieties um spread out between three properties in ground right now uh, i'm gonna only go over four to start um so here i've got my leela um it's a pretty good looking avocado tree i got it most recently um sometime in august and put it in ground immediately. I was passing through Ocala and saw a nursery. Let's see if it's this. Oh no, it doesn't say, but um, decided that this would be a worthwhile purchase. Um, real quick, to prep this property, I had three large popcorn trees, one here, here, and one in that corner. Obviously taking away a lot of this light that's coming through. Um, we had those taken down and mulched, which has been great. Um, so yeah, the Taylor's growing well. It's about, um, six feet tall, a little taller than the six feet tall, new growth, um, looks healthy. Uh, moving on, we've got the, uh, this is a Taylor avocado. Oh yeah, this one was a, was a 15 gallon. The Lilo was 15 when I put it in the ground. So it hasn't grown too much since I put it back in, but it is, it does have some new shoots. Um, let's see, uh, Taylor looks really healthy. Um, I have sprayed these with a, um, a copper fungicide, so that's what you see on the leaves. Um, yeah, this Taylor's from Tropical Acres Farm. Um, I, I did research on a bunch of varieties, and this one is supposedly um, pretty cold hardy. I'm really pleased with the, the structure and the branching and really just everything about this tree specifically. Um, it's been in the ground, like I said, from a three-gallon container. Uh, Let's see, uh, summer, I think April of this year. So it's it's grown quite a bit, um, you know, quite a bit since I put it in ground. Here is the Brogdon. This one's been in the ground the most. It's about a little over five feet tall. Really healthy. Loving all this mulch. I've got about a foot and a half of mulch over here. I mean, over mulched, but um, really healthy it was a three gallon when I put it in probably you know up to here when I when I put it in ground and um, it's grown quite a bit the trunk is you know pretty big um, this is a, a day I actually had this one um, where the Leela was but decided to um, to move it to a pot until I find a new home for it. Um, looks pretty healthy as well. I just got this Mexico in the mail a couple days ago, so it's uh, just got put in its new home, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, here I've got some seedlings that I started and, and grafted onto. I, d I probably did 10 grafts, and only four took. I'm still learning how to do these, but let's see if I can focus on this. My shadow's in the way. Well, I've got a fantastic here and here. So two fantastics, two Mexico La Grandes. So I'm pretty pleased with how these took. I also have a bunch of uh, just see things I'm getting started. Uh, I did buy a mango tree just to see how it would grow here. It's a Malika. I think it's Indian descent. Um, I read somewhere online that it's pretty cold hardy. It's been in the ground the same time as this Brogdon. As you can see, it's I mean it's got some new growth. Ever since I had it in the ground, it, uh, these tips were burning, and I read online and heard that it was from salt. If anyone wants to hop in here and help me out, um, that would be great. You can see how, let me see, 
it gets pretty dark on I don't know if that's normal or not um, it did fruit last year and had a lot of little avocados made it to a little bigger than pea shaped or pea sized and um, ended up falling off well um, again I don't know if this darkening is is normal and I just noticed this one leaf let's see if this is it now um, those pea, the pea-shaped or pea-sized um, mangoes ended up falling off and turning black. Anything, anyone want to help me out here? Um, not sure what that is. Um, but I will take any tips on on any of my trees. Um, I've got a nectarine here. This is a sun glow, I believe. Yeah, sun glow nectarine. This is a. Florida gold peach or June gold peach. Um, so overall, pretty pleased. You can see the rest of the yard, how pretty these trees are. Um, I'm really excited for this project in this, in this corner. Um, I just had another um, water oak tree removed. I don't remove any live or sand oak trees, but um, removed this water oak here, mulched it, and Definitely going to put another tree in ground, give it some space from these other ones here. Um, it has its own little microclimate. It's got, this is a south facing wall, so it gets a lot of sun. I'm going to get my neighbor, just, we're going to redo this wall, but um, a lot of wind blockage here. We got the shed over here also blocks a lot of wind. So I think this is going to be a primo spot for a variety that might not thrive in 9A, but I think we can actually do, do well in this spot. Just ran irrigation here all the way along this uh, east facing wall um, I do plan on doing a no-till garden here um, squared off probably I don't know maybe 25 feet long by 20 feet wide it's just a little square um, and do a no-till garden get it started in the winter and ready for for spring planting. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I don't get the most sunlight in these this area. I mean, I do get a good amount. Like these trees will probably get, I think this corner where the Brogdon is gets the most. Um, you know, depending on the time of year, the sun is obviously setting in different areas, but the Brogdon definitely gets at least six hours a day. I would say the majority get between four and six. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. I'll take suggestions over here what to do. I've got a lot of room for for um, for some sort of new new plantings. And lastly, I want to show you all this. I've got a uh, it's either a Satsuma or Clementine or some sort of orange, but they're getting ripe. But it's loaded up with uh, with fruit. This tree's got to be at least 100 years old. This house is over 100 years old. And um, I believe the tree was planted at the same time. I don't think it's ever been pruned once. Here's some figs that look pretty sad. Um, those were pruned back a couple of years ago, I was told. But pretty excited about this corner. Looking to have, I know this mango is gonna have to get babied in the winter time, but I'm not gonna cover any of these trees. Actually, none of these, including the seedlings, are gonna get covered. Um, we're gonna see if they can ride it out. Um, all right, please uh, leave some questions, comments. I mean, I'm just trying to learn. Uh, follow a lot of really helpful people on here, so I'm looking forward to the input. All right.